Hi, my name is Sophia Losa, owner of SBR Infinity and SophiaLosa.com. Thank you for watching me today. And if this is the first time to, for you to visit my channel, please click subscribe and notification bell to get you notified in my next video. Okay, before I dive into the topic uh, for this video, I'd like to announce to you that we I've already opened my one-on-one -on -one coaching for body reading. This is a good module class to attend if you are interested to learn how to read your own chart, your family's chart, your friend's chart, or even start your side hustle. And uh, to join, and if you're interested to join, I have uh, included the link below. And this actually includes three modules. And when you're done, you can definitely start your own forecasting. All right. And um, if you want to learn more, by the way, the worries for free, uh, you can also join my Facebook group. It's Sophia Relosa. And uh, Everything uh, you can suggest any topic or any content that you would like me to share to help you increase further your knowledge in terms of uh, Chinese metaphysics. All right, so thank you so much. Um, now our topic today is how to actually find out what's the first impression that you give out to your friends, your family, or any social uh, network that you have. It doesn't entirely mean your Facebook account or your Instagram account. So basically, this is your first impression that you actually give out to everyone. Now, to find that out, please plot in your body chart. If you don't have your body chart, the link is in the caption box and it's for free. Just plot in your birthday and your birth hour. Print it out and save it because we will need it a lot. We will be using it a lot of time in whenever uh, we do this YouTube channel and... Um, my Facebook group to save it and as, as, use it as your reference. Okay, so where do we find out where to find the uh, what, what's your first impression? If you find it in your year pillar, and this is where you find your year pillar. And what does it mean? Basically, we look at the 10 gods as, uh, surrounding your year pillar. And um, I will give you a summary, but if you want to learn more, do join my Facebook group account. Uh, it's again, it's Sophia Relosa. If you want to go learn more, uh, much more detail in terms of the impression that you give out to your friends and your family. Okay, uh, now let's start with the eating God. If you have eating God in your year pillar, this actually means that they see you as someone who's actually creative, who loves arts and craft, culture and good food. And uh, for hurting officer, you're someone who enjoys attention. You would like you enjoy attention and you uh, make a you make an effort or do activities to get the attention of others. And then next is direct resource. This is someone who's actually intellectual, who knows a lot, who's educated. Indirect resource is someone who's spiritual or prefers an orthodox way of learning things. And then if you are a seven killings, you are someone who's actually courageous and adventurous. If you are a direct officer, you are very diplomatic to everybody. And if you are a friend, basically you love networking and you love creating friends. And if you are a Rob Walk, you are charismatic and you love to influence people. And if you are a direct wealth, you're someone who's actually practical. And if you are in direct wealth, you're someone who's actually rich. You enjoy expensive things. You love branded stuff. So basically, that's the impression that you give out to your friends, your family, or anybody that knows you. Okay, if you want again, again, just to reiterate, if you want to learn more for free, please join my Facebook group. And if you want to learn more about Chinese metaphysics or body reading, and you want to learn and find clients using this or use this as a side hustle please click my uh, book online uh, link where you can actually enroll to my courses which is one-on-one -on -one coaching for body reading all right thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something today bye